There are many different kinds of energy in the universe, and that energy can do different things. Different forms of energy include thermal, chemical, electrical, electromagnetic radiation, nuclear, magnetic, elastic, sound, and mechanical energy. Non-renewable resources are commonly thought of as fossil fuels. Fossil fuels are non-renewable, but not all non-renewable energy comes from fossil fuels. Non-renewable resources come from the ground as solids, liquids, and gases. These resources have the potential to be exhausted. Energy is the ability to do work. It makes things go, run, or happen. It can be changed and converted from one form to another. Natural gas, coal, nuclear energy, oil and petroleum products such as gasoline, diesel fuel, heating oil, and propane are the most common non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are sources that regenerate and can be sustained indefinitely. Hydropower, hydroelectric, geothermal, wind, biomass, and solar energy are all examples of renewable energy resources. There are two ways in which energy is measured. Primary energy sources, including renewable energy, are each measured in different units, but there is also a basic unit measurement as well. A BTU is the common unit of measurement used by analysts, particularly those in the United States, to measure fuel and energy consumption. BTUs measure the energy content of each fuel source, but in one generic way, so comparisons can be made among different energy resources. In everyday terms, a single BTU is approximately the amount of energy released by burning one common kitchen match. One BTU equals the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. The United States uses many different sources of energy to contribute to our overall energy needs of this country. Oil is the largest share of the U.S. primary energy consumption, followed by natural gas, coal, nuclear electric power, and renewable energy, such as hydropower, wood, biofuels, biomass, waste, wind, geothermal, and solar power. Annual energy consumption in the U.S. is so great that it is often measured in quadrillion BTUs. One quadrillion BTU, or one quad, is nearly equal to the energy consumed by 5.5 million U.S. households in 2009. In 2011, the U.S. consumed 97.5 quadrillion BTUs, and only 9 quadrillion BTUs came from renewable energy sources. A hundred fifty years ago, before the expanded use of non-renewable resources like coal, petroleum, and natural gas, Americans used wood for their energy needs. As industry and lifestyles changed in America, so did energy sources. With growing need to develop innovative ways to meet energy demands, renewable sources are becoming more useful. In 2011, renewable sources total about 9 quadrillion BTUs, or about 9% of all energy used nationally. But is this enough? Here's how the U.S. stacks up against a few other major countries in our world. Canada is one of the world's five largest energy producers and is the largest foreign supplier of energy to the United States. It is a net exporter of electricity to the U.S., but most of their power needs are met by hydroelectricity, a renewable resource. Canada used 13.495 quadrillion BTUs of pri primary energy in 2011. Mexico is one of the 10 largest oil producers in the world, 
and is one of the largest sources of U.S. oil imports. Mexico is a net importer of natural gas in which they use majorly to generate their electricity. In 2011, Mexico used 7.808 quadrillion BTUs of primary energy. France relies on a diverse set of imports in order to meet oil and gas consumption needs. France imports natural gas through cross-border pipelines from the Netherlands, Norway, and Russia. The main source of electricity generation in France is nuclear power. Though they import from other countries, France also produces a significant amount of energy from renewable resources. After Germany, they are the second largest producer of biofuels in Europe. In 2011, France used 10.781 quadrillion BTUs of primary energy. Germany is Europe's largest energy consumer and relies heavily on imports to meet most of its large energy demands. Though they rely heavily on imports, in 2011, Germany was the largest European, European producer of non-hydro renewable electricity, wind energy, and biofuels, predom predominantly biodiesel. The country was also the largest solar electricity producer in the world. The German government stated that it will continue to shift from nuclear power to renewable energy. Germany used 13.082 quadrillion BTUs of primary energy in 2011. China is the most populous country and largest energy consumer in the world. Though it has the largest population in the world, it is still the second largest consumer of oil next to the United States. China is the largest producer and consumer of coal, and they account for almost half the world's coal consumption. Although China is primarily powered by fossil fuels, their renewable energy consumption is expanding. In 2003, China started to construct the Three Gorges Dam hydroelectric facility. This facility is the largest hydroelectric project in the world and was completed in 2012. In 2011, China used 109.62 quadrillion BTUs of primary energy. India is the fourth largest energy consumer in the world after the U.S., China, and Russia. It is also the fourth largest consumer of oil products in the world next to the U.S., China, and Russia. India's primary source of energy is coal and has the fifth largest coal reserves in the world. Back in 2004, India began to, mo to move natural gas as a substitute for its electricity generation. In 2011, India used 9.18 quadrillion BTUs of primary energy. Reducing our energy consumption means that we can enjoy cleaner air and a healthier planet. We only have one Earth and need to care for it. Protecting the climate by reducing greenhouse gases and conserving resources means that there are more for generations to come. Energy efficiency is, a pos is positive for the planet but can also save money. In 2008, Americans saved more than $19 billion and avoided greenhouse gas emissions equivalent to 29 million cars, all through choices they made with energy-saving measures and energy-efficient homes. On a social scale, we can push for legislation like more funding for energy-efficient technology, government rebates, and incentives for renewable energy choices. Provide awareness of financial and environmental impact of energy consumption through seminars, presentations, and awareness days. International conferences to resolve impacts and develop new technologies for joint effort reduction of global energy consumption like the Kyoto Protocol, UN, and NATO.